Black Lives Matter is a joke. Yep. You are the racist. Great. The racist is you. Yep. It's because yep. the white guy yep. killed that. You yep. think they're racist? The racist is the Black Lives Matter. Yep. Go to Chicago. Yeah. They don't have schools. Yeah, yeah, I don't give up. And they die every day. They don't yep. matter. They don't have because you can't get attention from that. Go to Shut up. up. Shut up. Shut up. Nobody will tell you that. Shut, Shut up. up. Group of hypocrites. Go to Southeast DC, Northeast. Tell them Black Lives Matter. If it matters, it should matter everywhere. You guys are hypocrites. Attention seekers. Attention seekers. Black lives should matter everywhere. It doesn't take a white cop to kill a black person to matter. So I'm here today because I heard about a demonstration on, you know, the George Floyd event, um, the situation, which I'm going to be honest about it. It's wrong that, you know, anything like that should happen. Okay? It's very wrong. My problem is it shouldn't, it shouldn't be an opportunity for a group of people to use that as an excuse or to come across as victims. No one is a victim here. The only victim here is George Floyd. Let's be very clear. Everybody knows that black kills black more than anything. You know that. It doesn't take a white person to kill them for you to come out. Hypocrites. Just leave. You leave. I'm present. Let you me leave. leave. Let me leave. I don't want to make me leave. Make me leave. Bunch of hypocrites. Black lives matter only when a white person touch a black person. Do you know how many black kids got killed in North East DC this morning? Okay. What did you do? No. You guys are the racist. No. What did you do besides come out here and provoke shit? No, so come go out there. Go out there and help. Go out there and help them. Go tell the black person black like matter. Then they will take you seriously. Everybody right, thinks right. you guys as a joke. You a joke because you playing. Go out no, there and do it. A joke. You a joke. What are you doing for the Chicago kids who dying every day? What you doing? Do you go there and tell the black guys matter? You go. Make me go! You go! Make me go! You're so supportive of them go! Make me go! As an American citizen, I'm proud of this country. I love this country. I don't want my country to be portrayed like this. We have a problem. That agreed. We have a problem in our country. Agreed. Okay? Too much violence. But it should not be categorized as a, as a symbolism for racism on blacks. No! We are in a free country. Let me be very clear. We have foreign news media here. Our country is going to be portrayed the way they want our country to be portrayed and which is not accurate. My point was that black kids in Chicago get killed every single day. Where is the Black Lives Matter in Chicago? Where are they? When black people kill black people, they don't come out and do this crap. The only time they do this crap is when a white person touches them. They are the racist. They are the racist. Because white, people, white cops, it's wrong for a white cop to kill a black person, that's for sure. But if it matters, it shouldn't matter at all times. So what are you fighting for? What are you fighting for? You are not here to fight injustice. You're a here better to cause message drama. will be stop violence. It's not about blacks. In a unicorn world. That's not a unicorn world. Stop the violence, period. Okay, since you're so... You get it, so so blacks are oppressed. I am black, I'm not oppressed. That's I am for you. free. That's good for you. That's an individual person. What about a systemic issue? Where? I am black. I've always wanted to be. I have a... Like, I do what I want. You have the skills. This is a country where you have the skills. You want to do what you want. You do it. Okay. Stop stop forcing on people to accept that they're oppressed. They are not. I am not oppressed. I am black. That's great. That's great. Stop making that. people accept that they're oppressed. You're forcing a rhetoric into your mind, which is not true. That's my point. Okay. Violence is wrong, period. It's not about blacks. Of course. You agree that whites kill black whites too, right? Of course. Have you seen any white person coming out and saying white life matter or white thing? No, they violence do. is wrong. They literally do all the time. Every time there's a black violence, lives matter protest, a white it's person. A black problem. It's a violence problem. The blacks kill blacks in black neighborhoods every single day. I have never seen a black life matter in those neighborhoods. Never. Never. You know what they say? When the black person kill a black in a black neighborhood, they come out and they say, when the police comes, do you know what they tell the police? Snitches get stitches. Snitches get stitches. But if a white person kill a black person, black lives matter. Stop the hypocrisy. Nobody takes this seriously. Nobody. If it matters, it should matter in black neighborhoods. You start cleaning at home. Why don't you go? You Why, don't you start? Why don't you start? I'm not carrying anything Why saying black lives matter. I know I start? matter. Why don't you start? You guys are wasting everybody's time. Okay? Since you're so black you about black this. more than any race. Where is the black lives matter? matter? People kill in their community. Where is the black lives matter? Uh, That's not true. I am free. Don't try to make me feel if I'm not free. I am free. We are free. Yes. Shame on you. I am free. We are free. Yes. Shame on you. 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 I am free. I am free. I am free. Bring it. Bring it, guys.
The establishment media is portraying things accurately or the protests accurately? No. What I think is that the mainstream media is helping propel this voice which which is very, very skewed from reality. Okay, because the mainstream media can help them, help them look at things from that perspective. Why don't you stand at home, bring the numbers to their attention? Here are the numbers, they don't lie. African Americans kill each other more than anything. These are numbers. If, how about you start the change at home? How about that? Why does it need take a white person to kill a black person for them to come out, oh my gosh, it's the end of the world? How about that? Why don't nobody bring that perspective to, the, to their face? Is it ignorance? What is it? Is it deceit? Is it deceit? What, what are they trying to achieve? This is common sense. You want to change? Start the change at home. Common sense. You don't need to be a nuclear physician to, to get this easy. Start the change at home. Period. And let the mainstream media tell them the things the way they are. Hey, yeah, we agree with you. Violence is wrong. In any way, on any surface of the earth, violence is wrong. But there's more violence in your own communities. What do you do about that? Are you going to come change violence at the White House? Come on, give us a break. The idea is to, to create a group of people who feel oppressed, okay? Because if the, the more they feel oppressed, the more they're going to, to look for some kind of equalization. They look, nobody's oppressed in America. Look, I'm a foreigner. I, first of all, all Americans, we're all foreigners, okay? If I'm hardworking, America is a country of... Why do you think the entire world wants to come to our country? Okay? We, everybody wants to come to America. And they want to pretend we're oppressed. I am not oppressed. I'm black. I'm not oppressed. I have a master's in health administration. Okay, I'm going to be working for a federal agency. I am not oppressed. No black in America, I don't feel oppressed, I'll tell you that. If you, you, you're driven, you're going to get accomplished what you want to accomplish. We're in the country of the free, okay? And let the mainstream media stop trying to force on people to accept that they're oppressed. I am not oppressed, I am black, I'm not oppressed, okay? Trying to make some people feel oppressed is just to weaken them. That's the bottom line. You want to make this group of black people feel that they're weak and that there's some, some power on top of the No one is oppressing nobody. As human, we all suffer from what is known as confirmation bias. Confirmation bias simply means that we see what we want to see. In this particular incident, where a white police officer was involved in the killing of George Floyd, who is an African American, we are prone to believe that it must be a racially motivated act even though we do know that police officers sometimes act bad. But we have to assume 
that it wasn't a just bad act of a bad police officer. We also have to assume that it must be racially motivated. I do not know any such evidence for this particular case. If you do, please let me know. Now, if you are a black African American, you are more likely to be killed by a fellow black African American than white. And that's a stat. But confirmation bias usually keeps us away from this stat that can refute our position. So we do not see those, as I told you. We see what we want to see. In this protest that is going on, many people were killed, and one of them was a retired police officer who actually was killed. He was also black, but no one actually talking about him. It seems like his life does not matter. And why that is the case? This man served the nation for a long time, and even after retiring, he was trying to save, save a pawn shop and was killed while trying to do so. A very noble man, a very noble black African man, but he's not getting any attention. Why? Because we do not want to see that. We see what we want to see. We are hypocrite. We say the life of one African American matters, but not others not that police officer. He could be our hero. He was the one who was trying to protect us knowing that it could be dangerous, knowing he could be killed and he was killed. We are hypocrite. This man deserves lots of attention and praise but I'm quite sure that you probably even heard of him. I hope that you will realize that violence is not an answer to anything. I hope that people that were killed during this violence like this black African American who also was a retired police officer will have justice just like George Floyd. It's not just justice for George Floyd, it should be justice for everyone who was wronged during this process. All those people whose houses were burned, all those people whose store was robbed, all those people who was beaten. I hope that you will understand that peace and peaceful protest is the only way a civilized society should act to any, any wrongdoing by anyone if you like this video please do consider to share it if you want to follow me you can do that through my youtube channel the fling thinker please do consider to subscribe my, to my youtube channel if you want to follow me you can also do that through my facebook page the fling thinker thanks for watching this video